Hey Cherries, it's Jessica here and I'm creating a layout using the new Spring 2024 Cherry Box. Here's a look at everything in the box. As you can see, it's packed full. There's stencil butters, stamps, stencils, palette knife, as well as a lot of products from the Spring Vibes collection from Pink Fresh Studio. I am just starting to play with this box, so this is the first layout that I'm making, and I'm really looking forward to it. I love the Pink Fresh papers, and I was really trying to use one of their papers in a interesting way. I always see so much inspiration from their design team that they post, where they use papers really cool and like just not what you would typically think of how to use the paper. So that's what inspired me to do this to the paper. So there's this page that I'm using and it like has washi tape like strips all down the page and I decided to cut out some from the top as well as the bottom to create a page where it's not completely filled with these strips like the original page was, but there's going to be a gap in between to allow me to add some photos there as well as embellishments. So I cut off the top and then I cut some from the bottom and I added foam tape so it would be a bit more dimensional. And then I'm adding it to just a white piece of cardstock. I was going to splatter on this page or add mixed media, but in the end I decided to go for a clean look. And I'm really happy with how this part is turning out. And now I am looking for some titles and then I'll start embellishing a bit more. This cherry box comes with a lot of titles, and if you're title challenged like I am, this is perfect. There's a whole pack of ephemera, all for titles, and I really like using these chipboard frames for layering pieces. I really like the modern look that it gives with all of the squares, so I'm adding these behind my photos, and then I'll stick everything down. I backed my photos with some chipboard so that even though I am layering on top of like foam and other objects behind it, it won't warp my photos at all. So that's a trick I like to do when I'm adding a lot of texture and dimension behind my photos. Now I'm just going in and I'm adding pieces here and there and just layering up around these photos. I thought that the top left corner needed a little bit more, so I'm grabbing some of the wood stickers, which and I really love working with these. It adds that little bit more of dimension and a different type of look. And so I grabbed one of the wood stickers and just created a little layered section we're using another one of the frames. To finish this piece, I am grabbing some of the enamel dots, also from this collection, and just sprinkling them around here and there around my clusters. I think this really helps tie everything together, and just like that, the page is done. Thanks for watching, and make sure to subscribe.